There is a branch, right? Uh, you should be good. Uh, it's gonna hit. Uh, should be good. We're just a little short. That's perfect. I'd move them for more this way. What do you think Mike would have rated you? Mike would have gave me probably a, a five or a six because I had to pull up and back up a couple times. <laughs> but didn't hit, anything. didn't hit anything. New campground, new adventure, guys. We're at Pio Pico near San Diego, and we have a lot planned for this couple weeks that we're here. It's gonna be fun. Yep. Lots going on, lots to do. Yep. And we got a site with sewer, so we're very excited. Yep, it's gonna be great. You don't know how much that means to so many campers. <laughs> so much more convenient. Yep. Now we can unhook. Ain't gonna roll anywhere now. Gotta put start link up. Number one, always need your start link. So Joe made this little hole so we could stick the star link in there. And this was not there. He, he put this in himself. And we also use this for our, our battery when we're boondocking. I don't know if this is 30 amp or Dirty. Ugh, cobwebs. Ugh, gross. Ugh. So gross. Ugh. There's like all these cobwebs in there. That means we're good. Ready to plug in. Ready to, oh. The electricity off before you plug in. I've done it several times by accident. <sighs> we should be on, let's see. Our lights are on. The lights are on. Oh, just about my Christmas decorations that are coming down this week. Yeah. Lights on. Now level my rig the old fashioned way. With a level, of course. <laughs> we don't have none of that fancy stuff here. I like analog things because they'll never break. Everything by hand. Mm -hmm. 
There's an old fashioned way of doing it. Now as you can see, bubbles in the center. Sorry for our big mess. I wasn't feeling good today. We're perfectly level. We put Starlink in our back room and basically we keep it under the one bed. And let me see. Oh, a ball was blocking it. Oh no, did it fall out? Oh no, it's right here, okay. So I'll just grab it like that. Can't do things with one. In, plug it in, and it's ready to go. It, it takes probably like five minutes to actually work, but we're in pretty good area here, so I know our Starlink will be fine. Plus, everybody around us has Starlink, so you just it's, we usually look for a Starlink camp spot, and so I think we're good. Also adjust these manually. I had a drill, but I broke the bit off, so for now, I'm doing that by hand. And these, you just want to torque them down a slight bit. Poopy ramp. <laughs> In our case, a pee, -pee ramp. Pee, pee ramp. Just goes down, makes it easier to flow. Okay. We also have a water pressure regulator. So I can see, you want to keep it generally, I think under 60. Ours is set for 45. Hmm. So very important, because if you have too much pressure, you can blow out your lines inside your RV, and you don't want that. Problem um, with water, right? We had our hose freeze. And uh, the water went into the RV and I had all the drains closed and it overflowed the sink. So never, I'll never do that again. Yeah. Luckily a neighbor shut off our water for us. Yep. Otherwise it would have been really bad when we got home. It's a cool ladder, right? <laughs> yep. Wow. Don't don't get hurt, please. We don't need any issues. It'd be a good YouTube video though if I got hurt. <laughs> we might finally go viral. <laughs> Man falls off RV putting his Starlink up on the roof. There we go, Starlink's in place. Should be good. So we are here in a different part of San Diego and we had no idea and we're here with our new friends, Mike and Tony from RRV Sunsets. And they're showing us parts of this state that we had no idea existed. Yep, awesome. We are stunned. And guess where we're going? To a brewery, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Beer company in not San Diego, California. <laughs> not San Diego. And this is really cool. We're gonna go in and try their beers. And they have a jalapeno gold that's flavored with jalapenos. And an apple pie beer. And an apple pie beer. Because they're known for apple pies here. So we're gonna give it a shot. We'll let you guys know what we think. Wow, we should cheers. Everybody cheers. Yeah, cheers. Okay, salute. cheers. Salud, yeah, salud. See, it's usually not as spicy. So Sharon's about to step into the jalapeno yeah. beer. It's not spicy, you can taste the jalapeno. <laughs> spicy. 
spicy. <laughs> spicy. What's the name of the place? Roberto's is the name of the place. What do you think? Fresh chicken, vegetables, super good. You're not gonna find this in a Taco Bell. <laughs> no. Or what's the other taco, Del Taco? Or a Del Taco. Yeah, the chicken's really fresh, the vegetables are fresh. Really good. So guys, we are leaving San Diego area, Pio Pico campground. We had a great time here. Uh, we did, we are heading to Julian right now. We're gonna have some apple pie. Yeah, all apple today. So anyway, we did already go to Julian while we were here. We went with RV Sunsets. They took us to their favorite brewery and now we're just gonna go and check out the rest of the stuff that we didn't get to do when we were with them. See you there. Sure smells good, even out here. <laughs> We're about to try this famous pie. <laughs> Look at that guys. Oh. I'm going in. So we're gonna try the pie here at Miner's Diner and it looks really good and we also got an ice cream float. And you should just come in here because it's very awesome. It's like a museum in itself. There's so much history in here. It's really awesome. She's going in again. It doesn't look as good as Jordan's uh, pie company, but we'll see. I've never had a soda float before ever in my life. My first time. What do you drink it? It's all messy. Thank <laughs> you. 
you really get that old town feel here. It's really awesome. So we found out that it used to be a pharmacy. Really cool, they have a lot of old stuff here. So guess what? We're going to another brewery. Of course. Of course. Of course. So Sharon got the Belgian quad, which is the 12%. Yippee yeah, I I'm getting lucky the last couple days with beers. I'm finally getting my beers again. And I got what did I get? I don't know what you got. Hello? Hello, McFly. Hello, McFly. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think McFly! Think! I got the Solstice Sunrise, which is a golden milk stout with coffee and cacao beans. is really good here. We like it. Although we did not film much of our visit with our RV sunsets, we had a great time getting to know them. Be sure to check out their YouTube channel which will be in the description below. We also really enjoyed our time in Julian, California. Join us next week as we go from 227 feet below sea level to 8,516 above sea level in 48 hours. Thanks guys. We love having you along for our adventures. See you next week.